welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Original Lady Eve Elements Tarot. Welcome subscribers, non-subscribers, cross-watchers, and the like. Hit that like button if you like what you're hearing, you're seeing on the channel. If it resonates with you, good. If it does not resonate with you, there are other videos that you can check out on my channel that may resonate with you. On this channel, we are all about love and light, self-love, self-care, self-confidence in oneself, and being pleased and taking care of one's own number one star player. That is you, yourself, and you. Okay. No weapon forms against my channel. Original Lady Eve Elements Tarot LLC shall prosper against my channel. My finances, prosperity, protection, wealth, love, fame, fortune, family. You can say whatever you want, but the most high God has the most power in the last word. With that being said, we're going to get into the reading of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Last time I did a reading, King. You know, Scorpio's got mad. Oh my god, you can't say that. <laughs> I'll say whatever I want. I'm being channel. Okay, so we're going to get into the sign of cancer. There we go. We need more light shed on this. Hello, hallelujah. Here we go. Can we illuminate? Come out of the darkness. Okay, so. We're going to see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Anywhere there are Cancerian placements in your chart, you find yourself boohooing a lot and crying a lot. Check your natal birth chart. Month, day, year, time, birth, you more. You have Cancer in your chart. You'll probably be. With that being said, let's get it. So, what's going on? With cancer for the month of November. My readings are timeless, not time stamped. So you feel led to watching my video. Your spirit guides let you to see this video. Please watch videos, all videos that you watch on my channel. Watch them all the way through. If you feel they resonate with you, hit that thumbs up. If they don't, hit that thumbs down. Slash that like button. Click that bell notification. Be notified of upcoming content on my channel. If you would like me to do a celebrity reading, put their name down in the comment section below. Love, work, life. If that celebrity was hexed, I will find out. Do the card reading on them and upload that video. And you will see that video on my channel the next day. Okay. If you'd like to book a personal reading, facebook.com slash firespell. Or click that link in the description box below. And book your personal reading. If you want to find out if you are hexed, click that link below or catch me on Facebook as Eve Elements. Okay. <clears throat> find me on Facebook as Eve Elements. Look me up there. You can find me on Instagram as Eve Elements LLC, I believe. You'll find me. I'm a black chick. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, regarding cancer, summer, rising, baby, snow, snow. Little Jupiter. With that being said, let's get it. Universe, what messages do we have for the sign of cancer? What's going on with the sign of cancer in the month of November 2021? I wanted to say August. So something occurred in the month of August 2021 with you Cancerian individuals out there. Okay. Again, for some of you, this reading may resonate with you. Others, it may not. Okay? Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't. Some of you are making bad investments out there. Whatever this is, work, love, or life. And it's got you in your head up at night. Or See, we have the seven of coins, right? Plant seeds, watching them grow. Could be the birth of a child. Could be someone you invested your time and your energy into. Whatever the case is, who you invested or what person, place, or thing that you did this investment with is the wrong investment. Judgment in reverse is you made a bad call. You made a bad judgment, cancer. 
Okay. But you're going to come up out of this. You're going to see light at the end of the tunnel eventually. You're going to come up out of this anxiety that you have with regards to planning on something. Something you planned didn't happen in your favor. It was wrong to do so. It was wrong to plan this out. You did it wrong. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Coins, rather. This was something that you wanted to work towards, okay? This could be dealing with a work situation as well. Investments in the job. It could have been a job that came about for most of you cancers out there that you thought this would be like your dream job and it turned out to be a nightmare. It was a bad investment to accept this job offer. That's for a select few of you out there. Whatever this situation is, it was wrong to pick it. All right. Again, you're going to come out of this as long as you work hard on coming out of this. Whatever the situation is you're dealing with. Again, it could be dealing with work. Any other messages for cancer for the month of November 2021? Universe, any messages? <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing because my cat name is Universe as well. <laughs> Anybody steal that name, name it a bird or they pet that name. That is not your pet name. It's my pet name. Cut that shit out. Okay, so we got the Eight of Wands. Oh, Lord, with the Six of Swords. Somebody come back around. Hold up. Okay, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, what? I was looking at the pictures of the, don't pay me no mind. <laughs> like, I'm like, what the fuck? Someone's very passionate. They want to talk to you. Now, this could be an argument. Because remember, six of swords come back around, but come back around into troubled water, bringing trouble to your doorstep. All right, so whatever this investment is that you, man, look, I don't know what you got yourself, <laughs> what you got yourself into, Cantor, whatever this investment was or is cancer there's going to be a discussion about it now i see someone traveling to your house you're traveling in your direction there this person is coming towards you with this red signifying this part it's red and black this person is actually not passionate but heated they mad as fuck um about a, a oh my god Seems to me like regarding this investment that was talked about between you and a certain individual or group of people to the word apply. I'm getting energy. Something's not finished out here. Something's coming back around and it's trouble. Trouble's coming in your direction. Cancer. This trouble headed your headed your way. Yep. The world. All right, could be something you see in online with this Eight of Wands and this World card and this Six of Swords in reverse. Ooh, someone could be messaging you online, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Snapchat, whatever. Okay, Instagram, IG, whatever. Okay. This person may want to argue with you about an ending that occurred. Okay. Or they may want to... Communicate with you about closing out a chapter. But it feels to me like you already closed this out. You've seen the light at the end of the tunnel. You worked on closing this situation out. Cancer. Mm -hmm. Could have been dealing with a Leo. You closed this situation out with. And this person admits. Ooh, they mad. For some of you out there, this person only come back around to close out a cycle with you. All right. The path of least resistance is what I'm hearing in this reading. This person wants to work out. This could be you, Cancer. Coming back around to finish something up. Some You feel like something is unfinished or this person feels like something is unfinished. So there's another go around. But this person is, is trouble and you know it. This person is trouble with this exposure. This person has a kid by somebody else. Okay. 
and the arguments could be between you and this individual having a child with someone else, and that's why the reason just the reason could be the source of why you closed out this chapter. This person could have lied to you and told you they told you they were single, they didn't have nobody, but they, they have a they have a child in here. Others of you I keep hearing why this, why that, why this, why that. There's a lot of whys in this reading. Someone wants to know why. And once clarity is resumed in this connection, then you'll be able to close out this cycle with the world card here. Because someone is text, I keep hearing text messaging online. Messages coming back around online inbox is what I'm hearing someone's not telling the full story they're holding back with the strength card they're holding someone's holding back the restraining themselves holding back they're working on restraining themselves working on holding back and they're trying to get past this situation and close it out realizing it was a bad judgment call on their part to come back around to even come back around and work on a situation. It was only a passionate communication. Probably one I stand. Anything else for cancer? Universe. Any other messages for cancer? Three fell right in my hand. Seven of Pentacles again. We got seven of coins, seven of Pentacles. Someone's reckless. They have reckless behavior. And this person has backstabbed you, or you may have backstabbed someone being reckless in your behavior. Yeah, someone was given to two situations, trying to balance out two situations. Six of Pentacles is here. Why? Here we go. Yeah, investments. Being reckless with their investments, being reckless with their money, their time, their energy. And a lot of backstab was being done by 10 people, a group of people. People you know, people you don't know. Or you was doing this to somebody. Cancer. I said we had two sevens. My bad. We have six of pentacles and a seven of pentacles. Oh, why did I say two? Anyway. Do my eyes deceive me? Someone wants to talk about how they made a wrong choice. They brought a lot of problems to a situation. They want to see their way out. They want to close this cycle. They want to work on closing this cycle. And they're restraining themselves from even making an investment in this. They know it's reckless behavior. They know that there's a lot of backstabbing and betrayal in this. And they just want to close it out. They just want to close out the cycle. Any more information we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Anywhere there are Cancer placements. Emphasis on Cancer, Sun. Any other messages for Cancer for the month of November? Cancer. Someone's restless about an agreement they made. This could be you, Cancer. Are you restless about some sort of agreement to return something that was stolen? <laughs> and some of you doesn't have to be physical. It's spiritual. Uh, oh, yes, it is. Mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially. Something was stolen. And either you or this individual is restless about returning this stolen property. Very restless. Up at night, are we? Mm-hmm. I guess so. Three hours, three days. Definitely someone wants to come and talk. Wrongs will be righted by the return of something stolen. So someone's restless over something they stole from you. Or you're restless cancer of something you stole from somebody. But in three hours or three days, it will be returned. 
Some of you go to church. Safe haven of protection. A shelter of the most high. Four sources here. Could be an ending to some sort of situation. Or ending to a friendship because one of your friends stole something from you. You may be unaware someone did steal something from you. Okay, could be a relationship. Could be finances. It could be a job promotion. Okay. A person you can trust. Jealousy, hate. Yeah, you had a hidden enemy, a friend of me that stole from you. See that rattlesnake tail? You gotta see that. I can't see shit. Okay, yeah. You thought this person was safe. This person is not. You soon will find out if not already. Use your intuition, Cancer. You are water. This person stole from you. Open your eyes. Open that third eye chakra. You will find out. Union between two people. Large number of affairs and flirtations. This person you can't trust. This person. Person is very jealous. They come off as a friend. They could could have been a fuck buddy of yours as well. This person flirts a lot. They have sex with everybody. You think it's just you and this person. Or this person just thinks it's you and them. And someone's screwing everybody in their house. Whoever stole from the house in three days or three three hours or three days, it will be returned. There's going to be a talk about this. A talk about stolen property or other things stolen mentally, physically, spiritually, uh, sexually, financially, whatever was stolen. Put it where it applies in you. Someone's very restless about this. Someone even made an agreement with someone who's a false person to actually steal from you. Or you made an agreement with someone to steal from your person. I'm hearing your person. Cancer, you agree with someone to take something? Could be money. Let me see every time you say it. That's more hearts. Steal someone's lover. That's what I heard just now. Steal someone's lover. You baited with someone to steal someone's lover. And now you're restless about it. Now you don't want to be with this person. Now you want to return this individual. <laughs> anyway, Scorpio, let's get into you. Yo. Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Aquila. Any Scorpio placements in your chart? Y'all need to look at your birth chart. Ooh. Okay. Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. When I do it like this, these are called elemental readings, earth, air, fire, water. Okay. Let's get into it. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Give us this reading for Scorpio. What's going on, Scorpio, in the month of November, universe? What's going on, Scorpio, in the month of November? Scorpio. Going on, Scorpio kings and queens. Hmm. Holding on that Queen of Wands energy. Some of you have a lot of passion. Someone sees you, Scorpio. What's going on, Scorpio? Someone's restless over you. Four Swords Reverse. You can't see it. Don't worry. I'm pulling off cards anyway. Okay. Or you could be restless, Scorpio. What's going on, Scorpio Universe? What do you see for Scorpio in the month of November 2021? I'm hearing outing, trip, planning a trip, planning an outing. Mm. We have the Knight of Coins reversed here. Try not to spend all your money. There's some information about a payout coming to you, Scorpio. You're anxious about this payout. That's why you're probably up at night. Two of Swords reverse. Right? Yeah, you're anxious about this. And you, there's some money that you was waiting on coming. And it's, it's on its way. It's on its way. Two of Swords reverse. Definitely, you are aware of this money that's coming. It's no secret. Yeah, you're going to get some sort of communication coming in about it. 
I see some of y'all traveling as well in your cars. I see you withholding information. That's a good thing. Not everybody needs to know your business. Scorpio, be mindful of someone doing love spells on you or love binding spells on you as well. This is a Queen of Swords in reverse. Very nasty energy here. Mad because they got to pay you money. For most of you out there, this Queen of Swords could be an Aquarius. Or an Aquarius Libra or Gemini. I'd say or something. Either way. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of communication coming in. But even though this person mean, this, this Queen of Swords reverse is very mean. Very cocky. But... It's like they're trying to withhold some sort of information coming in. But you see right through it. So you know that this information has to deal with a payout that's owed to you. Look, two of coins. person's trying to juggle. Mm -hmm. Show me more information. Mm -hmm. Five of Cups. You're going to be in recovery from this. You're going to get your just due anyway, Scorpio. So it don't matter. Okay. I don't know why this person definitely is a payout from this Queen of Swords energy here. Others of you, if this is not a business partner, this could be a lover, but I don't see no cups here. So this could be business or this could be family, but I see twos across the board. So that represents to me a partnership, right? There's some sort of recovery. Five of Cups, where someone was in regress, they're recovering. They're coming up out of being regretful about a certain situation. Again, someone's restraining himself about information or trying to withhold some sort of information from you, Scorpio, about a payout coming to you. That Knight of Pentacles or Knight of Coins in the reverse with the Four of Swords reverse. You, you, you pretty much feel it in your bones. You know there's a payout coming. Two of Swords again across the board from another deck. Definitely, definitely. The secret is out. What else for Scorpio? Ooh, yeah, something got revealed. Tower, towers here. The tower came, shook the very core of someone's foundation. Of you finding out or them finding out that about this payout that's coming. All right. Anything else for Scorpio in the month of November? So if you got some money owed to you and someone was trying not to tell you or trying not to pay you what you're worth, Scorpio, you already seen passes. Where someone thought they were trying to blindfold you, they can't. Your intuition is on point. You're very psychic. Okay, we all know this. But at the same point in time, it's like you're restless because you are aware this money is coming and it's headed straight in your direction. You are aware. The wool is not pulled over your eyes. You see this shit for what it is. You know you're supposed to be paid. Even with this queen of swords reverses Aquarius or whoever this is. In your life trying to withhold this information. Okay. Of, look at this. Trying to withhold this. Look. Trying to keep secret. That there's some money coming. And you already know. Look. I already know this shit. Like, I know I'm being paid. I'm up at night because my intuition kicks in past 12 midnight. I know I'm about to come into some damn money. I know I'm supposed to get this payout. I know you're supposed to pay me this money that you owe me. Or this money from this partnership that we were in. You're supposed to pay me. This person probably wasn't trying to tell you that they have that money already and they're supposed to pay it out to you. Whatever the case may be. But you're getting that money. Scorpio, you're getting that money. You will be able to recover from this. The secret is out. And someone shook about it. About It's like, how you know? You're going to be very happy. Ten of Cups. You're going to be very happy. Let's get you some cards. Scorpio. Summer Rising Venus North Node. Anyway, Scorpio Placements. You like to book a reading for uh, Facebook.com slash Firespell. Facebook.com slash Firespell. Or you can hit that description box below. Click on it and book your reading. You can find me on all social media platforms. 
I am not in hiding. If you'd like me to do a celebrity reading, put their name down in the comment section below. And with that comment of the celebrity's name, put whether you want me to do a love reading on them, a money reading on them, who they're dating, what they're doing. Are they hex? Who hex them? I'll find out a lot of people for you. Okay, Scorpio. What's going on? So, Someone's traveling over water. That's the eight of wands. Traveling by car, plane. Someone's taking a trip. You're going to overcome whatever it is you're going through, Scorpio. Stand your ground. The seven of wands here. Stand your ground. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, Ten of Cups again. Happy times is here. Stand your ground. As long as you stand your ground, Scorpio, can't nobody knock you off your pedestal, honey. Stand your ground. Clean your house out. Some of you may have a spirit walking around. And if this is not a spirit walking in your house, there's just a lot of disappointments here. <clears throat> there's also an illness. So make sure you get your checkup, Scorpio. Or this could be the person that you're dealing with, that Queen of Swords reverse. Could be battling with some sort of illness. Wow, okay. Yeah, the person that was disloyal to you or you them, you're battling with an illness. Coming up short with goals in mind. This is someone who... When you plan something with this individual, they don't follow through. They always fall short of their goals. Okay? They always fall short. This person has an illness. They also are being haunted and need cleaning. But as far as you, you are concerned, I see you. Some of you Scorpios are planning on relocating across the water. This is a good thing. Well, not that's a good time. Whatever spirit moves you to make that relocation move, do so, Scorpio. You'll be good. Any other messages? One more card for Scorpio. Bottom of one of Pisces. Universe. Don't act like this is new. I've been reading cards since I was 14, babies. Okay? I wanted to start reading at like at least 12 years old. Yeah, you're going to have a quick and sudden change with this individual here. You're going to also hear about someone's death. All right. Uh, illness, a haunting, a spirit walking about, nine of swords. You go, yeah, ooh. This is a family member of yours, Scorpio. A family member is, is this person. This family member was never loyal. They always made plans with you, and those plans always got cut short. They always came up short with goals in mind. If y'all two had goals together to start a business, it came up short. It never, it never, nothing ever came into fruition with this individual. Now, this is not a mental illness. This individual is battling. This is a bodily down below type of. It's an illness. And it's going to end in a death, an abrupt ending, a sudden change. For most of you Scorpios out there, this person that was disloyal is soon to change their ways. Okay? Stand your ground, though, because I do see you traveling, you're moving, you're relocating across the water. Pisces. What's going on in the realms of Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, anywhere there is Piscean placements. The depths of the ocean. This is Pisces. 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 What's going on with Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Lilith, Jupiter, anywhere there are Pisces placements. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. What's going on? Hmm. 
my children. Why am I not? Mm, like, what the hell? Okay, universe. What's going on in Pisces for the month of November? And Pisces season is coming up, too. Something may occur in Pisces season. Okay, that is my child. My child crazy. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Ooh. Some of you Pisces are not following your intuition over a message that you receive from someone who is telling you that they are either depressed, they are sad. This person, though, comes off very childish. Could be a Leo, could be a fucking Aquarius, whoever, a Virgo, whoever you're dealing with with these placements in their chart. This person... Really? Okay, hold on. <laughs> You're not following your intuition, and you need to, Pisces, because I hear that this, I'm hearing spirit saying this person's playing on you and playing on your emotions. There's some sort of message coming in. We got the hermit reversed. Okay, you're coming out of the dark. Okay, you, some of you are listening to, if you don't get your butt down, some of you are listening to your intuition and now you know what to do about a message that's coming through about, I'm hearing some of you, could be a friend of yours, that's a Leo, that's down and out, defeated, sad, depressed, lonely, whatever. But this person's very angry. They like to lie a lot and they like to block communication whenever they don't get their way. Could be dealing with Sagittarius. They come off as balanced and they are not. This person is patient. They try to act like they're very harmonious. And balanced, but they're coming off as the Queen of Swords in the reverse position. All right, this person could be talking to you about balancing out their emotions and how they feel about a certain situation, and it has to do with a, a fire sign child. So they could be talking to you about a child, a little girl that's a fire sign, Pisces, and how they're discontent at a previous location. I heard. Four of Wands in the reverse. Whoever this air sign is talking to you, Pisces, they have a twin flame that they're in disconnect with. Why are they disconnected from this twin flame? They're disconnected because of their ways. It has nothing to do with the other party. This is, this is all them. No one would deal with their BS. And they're talking to you, Pisces, about their BS. About them being discontent and disconnected. Look, I see affirmation coming in with that eight of wands. They're, they're, yeah. They're communicating with you how sad they are that they're disconnected from their twin flame and from their daughter. And they want to travel back to see their child. But they're still unhappy. So this is the communication coming in. Okay. Show me Pisces for the month of November. Universe is going on Pisces for the month of November. Ooh, yeah, this person is very depressed. Nine of Swords up at night. They have a lot of anxiety about communicating and traveling towards an unhappy home. They want to try to bring balance back into an unhappy situation here. So they are up, whoever this individual is up at night. Could be you, Pisces. Could be a friend you're dealing with. Uh, ex. Baby daddy, baby mommy. Whoever this is in your situation. Fit it where it apply. Could be a friend, a co-worker, family member. Whoever is dealing with a situation that they have left a home. Where there are children involved. And they left a child as well behind. This person is in, in, in deep sorrow, very depressed. They are, in a, they are in a depressed state of mind. They are up at night. I heard fiddling with your fingers, fiddling, twiddling, fiddling with their fingers. Hmm. I see someone biting their nails. They want to bring a death to this situation. They want to put an ending to their lonely nights and their nights of anxiety they want to bring an end to it by coming in and communicating bringing about a balance but again this person comes off as like mean how you gonna bring a balance you gotta change yourself first you can't bring a balance to a situation if you're gonna continue being mean 
Queen of Pentacles. This person's all out of luck, all out of money, stingy with their finances. They done toppled over. They no longer have their throne. This could be you. This could be whoever you're dealing with. They want to end a situation with spending too much money, being too selfish, because it's putting them into this grief mode. There's going to be some sort of communication coming in, or someone driving to somebody's house to end the situation because they are shit out of luck, I heard. They don't have no more money, so they're trying to come back to somebody. Pisces, what's going on Pisces in the month of November? Hey, woman, someone's in introspection right now regarding this entire situation of coming back to the house that they left. They left the house unhappy, unsatisfied. It's in flame again. Four of Wands reversed, though. Again, 44 across the board. Four of Wands and two different decks reversed. Unhappy situation. Someone knows it. Someone knows it. It was instability. They created an instability in the foundation. This is you or them Pisces. But they were to fly. But there was instability, a loss of money, a loss of finances. Who chat? Someone's looking at it now for what it is. And they're trying to change the situation or bring about a change to the situation. I'm hearing that there's a sit down, there's a discussion about this change. Spending too much money, penny pin. Now you got penny pinch. That's not, that's why the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. Penny pinching. Penny pinching. Because someone is up there living lavishly, living high on the hog, spending way too damn much, and now they got a fucking penny pinch. Wow. One more card for Pisces. Yeah. Now someone's being very guarded with the Nine of Wands here. So you got 99 and you got 44 across the board. Someone, look, the Hierophant reversed. Five of Cups. Someone regrets spending a lot of money doing spell work. Now someone wants to be guarded. Someone was probably doing spell work on the Gemini. King of Swords is here. I see this King of Swords in deep regret over a divorce that occurred because someone decided to block them off. Yeah, was a soulmate of theirs. Their contract is up with the universe. Whoever this King of Swords left or for you, Pisces, or flip, flip the rose, that soulmate contract is over. Someone else is going to have a new beginning with a new soulmate. Someone